Welcome to Oracle Linux B. We are changing it completely in theme. And there are some keyboard shortcuts that I'm actually missing. Right, I'm missing a few of them. And let's make two extra keyboard shortcuts. I promise not to do anything without you knowing it. I would like to have Control Shift Escape. You might know that kind of keyboard shortcut when pressing those keys on another kind of operating system. I would like to sometimes monitor my system, right? System monitor, GNOME system monitor, all these names. Here we have to remember the word K syscard. That's the system guard or something, you know. We have to, well, it's a good thing if you remember that name. We have here in a system load, so we can see this strange uh, cores, all these lines from all the cores and the memory swap and network. You know what a system monitor is. But the thing is, um, we know the name. So K syscard, that's the thing that is taking up 1% of the CPU. We need to make a custom keyboard shortcut. So I go to system settings, to keyboard shortcuts custom keyboard shortcuts, Eric, we've already made a few of them. Why an extra folder, Eric? Because of the fact that we can then a uh, new group, so that can be exported later, and of course, imported later. So in here, I'm going to add new global command URL. I'm going to give it a name, like, yeah, why give it a name that you know now. Okay, sysguard. Trigger, Control Shift Escape. Yes, that works, no pop-up. So if the, the keyboard shortcut already exists, then Plasma will tell, hey, you wanna overwrite? Yes, no. So, okay, sysguard, no typos allowed. Apply, Control Shift Escape. That works, that was something that was missing, that was in my fingers, my fingers went to it and the system didn't work, right? Another thing that I want to have is this thing here. We always go to these system settings. Can we find here the word that applies to the system settings? Can we find it here, maybe? Or can we find it on um, when, we, when we search on our system? So the best thing maybe is first try out and see if we find it here. So when we launch this thing, a process must be launched and it is indeed launched here that's the system settings 5 you can always test it again by typing system and then settings 5 so when i press this this thing is launched let's kill it so you really see oh so that's the application i want so now i know the name that i need for my keyboard shortcut system settings 5 again system settings shortcut custom shortcut, Eric, edit, new, global, command. And then the system settings, five, so we know what it is later. Trigger, hmm. trigger for that, normally in our links is control alt M, I believe. Should check it again, but I think it opens the XFCE settings, control alt M. And then action, well, the system settings five. Now, before I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna watch, uh, gonna check the other XFC uh, system to see if that's correct. Control Alt M, and that's correct. So I can safely say that Control Alt M opens up system settings in XFC, so it will open up Plasma settings in Plasma, right? Let's try it out. Control Alt M. From now on, you probably will see me use that shortcut and not go all the way to up here to there. So that's a short video for these two th little applications that I wanted a shortcut for.